Brawl Talk is out, so let's take a deep dive into all the new mechanics and brawlers that have been introduced. But before that, Mega Boxes are back. Collect 12 star tokens from the first time you play a game mode that is marked and get a free Mega Box. Apart from the rewards, collecting 10 of them will also give you the Rico Hypercharge skin. The rewards from a Mega Box are similar to what we had before, so a lot of items. And you can get, looking at this, you can get bling, you can get power points, you can get gems, you can get coins, you can get brawlers, and you can get cosmetics. Two new game modes have been introduced for the first season. One is Mirror Match, in which all six people are playing the same brawler. Honestly, seems kind of fun. And the second one is just gun game. Every time you kill someone, you change to a different brawler, and you kill with the last brawler, you win. And of course, the last one is Frank, because you're never gonna get a kill with Frank. Let's go. Both of these have the classic modifier, which means it's back to like 21 first brawlers, so everybody has to be one of those brawlers. You're capped at power 9, you only have your first star power, and you can't use gadgets nor hypercharges. And of course, gears are disabled. And here we have the first new brawler, Berry, which is an epic brawler, and I am so sorry for you barley enjoyers. I am one myself. I, I played back in the in the first World Championship qualifiers. I played uh, Barley a lot in Heist, and Barley is just getting his job stolen. You have a thrower does a bit less damage, but the attack lasts on the ground for a lot longer, so you have a lot more damage potential and area control. And also the basic attack heals the allies and yourself, of course. But that doesn't really matter too much if you're a thrower. The thing is. Barley, the only thing that Barley can do that other throwers can't is keeping an area control and having healing. That was the main selling point, the herbal tonic gadget. But now you have that with your main attack, we don't even know what the gadgets are, and it's already basically taking that job. So you can heal people, keep even more area control with your basic attacks, like a basic attack is gonna last longer than a super from Barley. And you can heal yourself, heal your teammates, you do decent damage, if you hit the high safe or unlike target in general that is not moving, you're gonna do more damage than Barley, and it's super, heals and deals a lot of burst damage, so you can get rid of people that are low HP, you can go in aggro or you can run out of assassins, which is something that Barley cannot do, so if you pick Barley you need someone else to do that for you. So basically you're just a strict upgrade. I'm really sad that Barley is just never gonna get picked again. Why would you? You just have a better brawler. The quality of life and social improvements are great. Uh, I can't complain, but I'm not gonna analyze them here since they're not mechanics. But something that I want to note is that you get double XP if you're playing in a team. I don't know if this means that you're burning twice as fast through your daily XP or you're just getting out of nowhere, more or less like when there's a frenzy, you know? If it is that way, then you should always play with a team. I know that's inconvenient, but it's optimal. Oh, Barley might get saved, he got a hypercharge. And never mind, okay, well, unless that lasts a lot longer on the ground, it's not gonna be super consequential. I think it just deals a bit more damage because of the damage boost that the hypercharge is gonna be. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna change too much how Barley gets played. Frank's hypercharge though, with the rework that makes it so that you have a higher attack speed or an unload speed rather than attack speed while you have lower HP and this hypercharge might be really 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 good. I don't know if that's all that Frank needs to become a better brawler, I don't know if his damage and HP are gonna remain the same, but if they do, Frank is officially out of the F tier. That is that is crazy, that makes no sense. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna still leave Frank as like a C, B tier brawler at best. Angelo's hypercharge is what we all wanted and they delivered. Now your super moves with you and Angelo becomes S plus tier. We need like an Angelo tier above everybody else. Piper releases more grenades and also wall breaks when landing. Uh, apparently this explosion also knocks back, which means you're gonna get twice as many Tufa-like edits on your For You page, uh, because kids are now gonna think that Piper is an assassin. But again, at a more high level, this is only gonna be used to wall break twice. So in maps where you wanna break two walls or two bushes, you can do both at the same time. 
and you can also in a small storm for example a knockout where the gas is closing you can use this to knock people back into the storm and so you don't have to jump into the gas yourself i think it's honestly gonna be good and knowing piper's super recharge rate it's probably gonna be quite easy to get if i had to guess unless they make it like intentionally take four or five supers it's gonna be quite good for piper and i think it's gonna get picked a lot more Ems is getting a hypercharge and if you can cycle fast through this it's gonna be really good because you're gonna be able to push people which is something that Ems really needed because once you run out of friends on their gadgets you're basically a sitting duck and now you can defend yourself against tanks and more aggro brawlers because you're, you're gonna hit like all three attacks after so you get another super and you can get more hypercharges and I think this is gonna probably make Ems see a little, a little more play because right now it's only picked in like two global maps and that's pretty much it. So hopefully this makes Ems a bit better. And Rico finally gets his mutation as a hypercharge. It's not that bad guys and I don't think it's gonna change too much, but it can be useful to kill a target that is running away and uh, for example, reaching the highest save for a bit longer away. But I don't think it's gonna be game changing since the same attack cannot hit you more than once. So you should be safe. Gale gets double super and a bit wider, which is gonna make me just a bit more annoyed every time I get hit by a Gale super. And the CC is actually really good. You get more knockback, but you also get more time in which the opponent cannot do anything. And I think that's gonna be really valuable, but not game changing for Gale. And finally, we reach the second brawler. It's a mythic brawler called Clancy, and apparently it's not a lobster. The thing about Clancy, the mechanic, is that it upgrades itself more or less like Surge does. Instead of using your super to upgrade, you hit enemies. Depending on how fast you cycle through these upgrades, if you lose them or you lose only one level when dying, and depending on just how easy it is to keep them, I guess, this can be really good or completely unusable. New game mode, this game mode is called Splatoon and you cannot convince me otherwise. When you kill people they leave paint and when you push this squid around it paints as you walk and you can also throw it to paint a bit more. It is just Splatoon and then there's like a whole line of skins based on Splatoon. I mean I like it, I can't complain, but you cannot convince me this is not Splatoon. Lastly, there are two reworks we haven't talked about. Meg is now insanely aggro. They have reduced uh, the range by about 10% from what I can see without measuring it. And they have increased her damage by a lot. So now instead of getting tickled by a Meg, you're gonna get absolutely murdered. Great stuff. As if Meg was not annoying enough. I, I don't know why this was needed. I, I don't agree with this, honestly. However, the rework that I do really like a lot is Chester's. It's just a small touch. The star power that gave you fourth attack with four projectiles is now part of his main kit, which might as well be because there's no point on using your star power. And now the first star power makes your main attack, when you only have one projectile, do more damage, which means we might actually for the first time ever use sneak peek. Also, you can now flex your ranks. And here's where I would put my giveaway if I had one, so I'm just gonna give you a free profile icon that you already have because you've scanned it. Anyways, bye.